It's Sunday, December the 3rd. I'm here to get some more crappie today. They have literally changed this lake a lot. They are building a junkyard on one side. It looks like maybe a junkyard slash used car lot. They're gonna, they tore out all that whole bank over there. I guess because they were flattening the ground out with a dozer. <sighs> Ruined uh, the stake beds I put in it and everything. Just gone. On a plus note, the water has somehow came up. And it's also cleared up. It's a lot clearer than normal. <coughs> I don't know how that's possible. And somehow, there's a bunch of white bubbles in the water. Oh, and I got a big pickerel already. First, the second cast, oh my goodness. Whoa, 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 on a crappie jig. Wow. My goodness, it's a, boy, it's a fighter. I thought I was hung up. I felt, I thought I was in a tree and I went to, to break it free and then I realized he's swimming with, oh my goodness. <clears throat> Big pickerel, man. Oh yeah. Oh, he ain't giving up yet. <laughs> Not a bad guy. Not a bad fish. <clears throat> he's about... 18 inches. <coughs> Not bad at all. Boy, he's bigger than I thought. He's about 20 inches. I ain't gonna measure it, but that's what he is. Boy, that's a beautiful pickerel there. We're gonna get her back in. Not bad for a start. We, are, ooh, we have a cold front coming in tomorrow. And uh, it's 60 degrees. That might be why these fish are biting. It's probably the uh, barometric pressures dropping. Are you kidding me? Holy crap! Heck yeah! I've never, I've never gotten one over 22. And I've caught hundreds of them. <coughs> My goodness. Gosh. Oh, I'm freaking hung up. Oh. <coughs> All right, my buddy just caught a big old picker and he's big and fat. We don't know the length. I'm going to have to go back and get my backpack. He's got the tape measure in there. I bet he is 20, at least 24, 25. Yeah. Man. Good fish. One of my probably top 10 anyway. Man. Yeah. <laughs> I went yesterday too on the Black River again. Not not one sauger or walleye this time. Crappie. I, I gave up and no, I caught one large mouth and about 10 crappie. That was it. I don't even know why I got this lure on. It ain't really good for here. But. The biggest pickerel I've personally seen out of this lake, I've caught them up to 22. And we're, we don't know how long it is, but we're gonna find out here in a few minutes. That's a nice swim bait there, I like that. It's a uh, slider. Oh, Charlie Brewer? Yes. That's almost like a pike. Yeah, that's a nice fish. <laughs> Very nice fish. Beautiful. Man. Let me do a couple here. Yeah, I'll take one long ways too. Yeah. Man. You seen the, how I caught the one right here in town? Mm -hmm. I was wondering how they were getting in the church. Now I know how. I've caught them. I've never caught one below the. Never caught one below the gravel pit. Oh, 
Oh yeah, dude, they're everywhere. They're all the way down into Arkansas and Bucker. God. Uh, up and down. Yeah, oh, okay. Thanks. Hell yeah, man. I thought you was a little black boy that comes here all the time. I'm like, no, wait a minute, he don't sound I, like that's him. Who, that's who I thought you were too. And then I saw that <laughs> black shirt. I'm like, but Josh always wears black. <laughs> shit is all over me. <sighs> Man, that is nice. Gosh. Be 24 inches. Nice pickerel, nonetheless. Beautiful. He's got me beat by two inches. And that thing is the fattest one I've ever seen. Oh yeah, folks, I got a big bass. Another three pounder. Nice. <coughs> yeah, that's about two pounds, I'm sorry. Two pound, two pound largemouth though. And I'm an idiot, I came over here without my pliers again. Like I always do. And then need them. I don't need them for this guy maybe, but I've, if I get a pickerel, I'm screwed. I'll have to walk all the way back my backpack over here. Boy, I can barely get this one, to be honest. Nice one. Nice large mouth right there, folks. December the 2nd. And I'm using a type of crankbait that usually isn't feasible in the cold months because it ain't cold, but during the cold months, you don't really want to use crankbaits that have a lot of wobble to them. You want more ones that are more just uh, steady retrieve and don't wobble much but I decided to put it on anyway and it paid off 